What's going on with my YouTube family? What's happening with my YouTube savages, guys? In this one, pretty much just going to be a smoke cess video. Thank the Lord the savage was able to pick up a pack of raw black slim papers from the local gas station, guys. Literally, they had one pack left and it was hidden like underneath a box. So it must have been meant to be. This is the stuff I smoked on yesterday before I came to work, guys. This is the Fruit Smacks from Certified. I just wanted to try it out out of this thinner paper. I really like the smell, look, and taste of this one. I also really like the effect of it. If it was a little bit stronger, I honestly would dare say it's worth the uh, price point at $40. That's normally what it's always been for Top Shelf Flower in Ohio's program anyway. Ever since I first got into this program, maybe it was actually a little bit more expensive back then, Savages. But $36 to $40 plus tax on a jar of Top Shelf is pretty much what it's always been. It's different now because Rec's about to hit. From what I'm hearing, a lot of chirps around me, Savages, that it's going to be next week on the 14th. So next Friday, kind of a weird day for them to start that at the tail end of the week. But you better bet your ass the Savage is going to be up in there next week, early side, trying to stock up on as much stuff as I possibly fucking can, review-wise, for you Savages. Because I definitely don't want to be in a predicament where it's hard to get in there. Or if I do get in there and we're actually lucky enough to be able to get in the stores, guys, if they're even going to have anything left to buy at all. I do know for a fact that the citizen has been stocking up on flour for some time to try to uh, get prepared for this as best as possible. So maybe it won't be as bad as I'm worried about, but you always gotta be prepared for the worst savages. So next week, probably Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm gonna go in. You guys need to drop it in the comments over the course of the weekend on the videos that I'm about to drop over the next three days. Today is my last day of work. The reviews are gonna be back up and at it starting tomorrow, guys. I have three more flower reviews and I finally picked up a live resin cartridge from Clutch. Today, guys, I would have got a luster pod if they had any. The only thing that they had in terms of the luster pods right now, guys, are the CO2 ones. And I, I pretty much reviewed almost every single one of those by now, guys, at least the ones that they have on the menu as of now. So I decided to pick up a live resin cartridge, which is cool anyway, because even on my own time, I have never tried one of the live resin carts from Clutch. So it should be interesting to try that one out. That's also going to be this weekend, guys. I got kind of a long weekend this week because they're doing some stuff at work working on the machines and stuff so we kind of got lucky and blessed today's the last day i actually could have had today off too guys but you know what how are we going to do these reviews if the savage ain't making the paper you know what i'm saying so we're just going to get that beat it up beat it up over the head get it up and over with let's light this one up guys this is the fruit smacks from certified cheers mm. the raw classic organics are not bad papers whatsoever if i had never tried these in my life that's still what I would be smoking because before I started getting on the blacks, those were my go-to paper for the longest time, either the classics or the organic hemp. Both of them are pretty fucking decent, guys, but I just love how thin these ones are. You can really see the weed really well through the paper, and when you got some top shelf out of one of these boys, whew, sweats, drips, resin ring, you can see the weed through the paper. I just love that type of shit, guys. Flavor on this one is absolutely fucking dumb silly, Savages. I would probably go through a half ounce of this at least. But at $40 plus tax on the 10th, how much would a half even cost to be over $200, I'm sure. Overall, I picked up a half ounce of flour, like, all together. I picked up five tenths yesterday for the week in terms of flour reviews, guys. And it cost me over $200 total for five separate tenths. Whereas it used to be like 100 to 150. It just depends on like what brands you guys are picking up. I only picked up one flower from Clutch this week though. The rest of the stuff has been like either brands that I haven't tried before or brands that just have absolutely no business charging what they're charging guys. I mean that KYND flower from last night. I'm just gonna be totally transparent. <laughs> I wouldn't pay 15 bucks for that stuff. I'm just being honest, guys. Compared to what you can get for that amount of money these days, you almost got to go out of your way to find weed that's not good. Oh my good gosh. This definitely tastes a tad bit better out of the raw black. Kind of figured it would. Just a nice, this has a nice creaminess to it as well. I do believe I mentioned that in the review yesterday, guys. But just in case nobody caught that or I didn't end up mentioning it, sometimes my memory is a little foggy, Savages. This one has a nice creaminess to it as well. A nice Hawaiian punch 
specifically the red one. Fruit Juicy Red, the OG. Mixed with some nice creaminess, almost like a Greek yogurt on this one, guys. This tastes absolutely fucking divine. I guess it almost kind of tastes like a fucking, like a strawberry parfait, a little bit. Strawberry, raspberry parfait. Probably more like a raspberry parfait, but I'm going to go ahead and go with what I said originally. This really, because the smell is so one-to-one, -one, it smells just like Hawaiian Punch, guys. If you're in the market for something from Certified, you want a nice, chill sativa, this one's not going to give you anxiety. I firmly believe that because the Savage has some anxiety disorders, guys, especially with the HPPD that I have, which is the disorder from taking those psychedelics and stuff. So, I am very sensitive, very sensitive to weed as it is guys if it was not good i would let you savages know man absolutely if anything flower like this helps my anxiety it just really totally relaxed feeling in the body we're not even halfway through this one and i'm already starting to feel a nice effect savages mm. and right off the bat before i forget don over at the Citizen by Clutch off Cherry Avenue, I had another absolutely amazing divine interaction with that guy today. Man, you have got to be one of the most savage bud tenders that I have ever had the pleasure of speaking with in my two and a half years in this program. Absolutely has such a passion for the flower, guys. He has absolutely the utmost support for us and the channel. Every single time I see that guy in there, he is just showing me so much love, savages. He showed me some real love today, but I'm not going to bring you guys anything until there's anything concrete. But man, we're in the process of really making these dreams come true, savages. And it's really all thanks to you guys. I'm not going to discredit the work that I've been putting in. But really, if it wasn't for you, savages, tuning in, commenting on every video, anticipating every video that I am about to drop, you guys really make it so worth it, man. And I am not kidding. I have absolutely, eternally grateful well, the way I said that was weird, but I am eternally grateful for each and every single one of you guys, man, please. And drop it in the comments what you guys are puffing on. And if you enjoyed this one, please hit it with a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm of the YouTube videos so much, guys. Basically what it does, the more likes the video gets, the more YouTube's going to end up recommending it to people who have never seen the channel before. So the more likes we get, the more savages we're going to get in the savage army, guys. So one thing I can tell you guys <coughs> now I feel it's pretty safe to say. But the Savage is looking into going to school to learn more about the cannabis business, to learn more of the ins and outs and stuff, guys. Because in the long run, that's really what I'm trying to do. At the end of all this, Savages, I want you guys to be able to smoke some average Savage pack. You know what I'm saying? My name on the label, guys. Me growing my own weed, testing all the strains out for you guys, giving you savages exactly what I know you guys are going to like, which is 10 out of 10 quality weed, man. But first things first, we got to go to school. We got to go to class, learn all this stuff. It's going to be a very, very um, big process, I guess I should say, uh, in terms of another word. But it is going to be a process, guys, but I'm excited for every single second of it, man. You guys have no idea. And as I said, you guys make it so worth it, man. When I get off of a long shift at work, at the factory, at the warehouse, guys, just drenched in my own sweat, just absolutely sore and exhausted, I'll take a look at that phone. I'll take a look at my homie Alec or Michael Moore or DeMarcus Gaines or any of you savages stoned in the 60s, my dude Don, any of you guys commenting on these videos, and it just absolutely lights my face right up like literally guys you guys make me happier than you can even fathom man this joint this is really just a video thanking you guys i wanted to give you guys a nice sesh video let's take a look at this ash off the royal blacky black Oop, get a nice zoom here focus camera focus focus there we go savages you guys can see it's actually sweating fairly decent. We almost have a complete resin ring on this one. The ash itself is still a tad bit peppery, just like it was yesterday. But overall, I'd say the fruit smacks from certified burns pretty f nice, savages, if I do say so myself. I'm having kind of a little bit of a wicked hair day. It ain't too bad. I, I really need to um, cut my hair soon, savages. I've been saying that for like two weeks. Mm. 
about to dust this one off here in the next couple minutes guys go on a walk and get ready for the last shift of the week i have some absolutely fire reviews coming at you guys over the next three days i really tried to save the best for last out of the hauls this week we have a live resin cart we have the kush mints from clutch cannabis we have the jungle driver from the standard wellness guys that stuff actually looks fucking flames through the jar it really does the nugs look nice fresh like sometimes you can just tell by looking at the stuff how nice it's going to be guys i really really can't wait to smoke that one and maybe the uh, most anticipated one of the week the high fructose corn syrup flower review from moxie guys and just feeling those nugs through the bag it's it's a mylar bag that is not see-through so i don't know what the nugs look like until i actually end up opening it on camera for you guys but the stuff feels great and Surge, let me know. Uh, the CEO of Major Yuck, guys, please drop it in the comments if you guys have checked his stuff out yet. I'm telling you, that flower looks fucking bomb. And Surge, if you're watching, buddy, I cannot wait to try that stuff, man. I can already tell that's going to be a treat. The blue cookie looks fucking fire, guys. So, that's what we have as of now for the next three days. Should be a nice weekend in terms of reviews. Guys, that Cushman's on the Delta 9 THCA is testing almost 40 three percent total 43 percent total thc on some flour guys i cannot wait to bust that jar open and try that for you guys let's take some power rips man this is a really nice mellow sativa guys second joint out of the jar i feel the same way i really like the effect of this one it almost feels like a hybrid guys if i'm being honest i have a nice relaxation in the body and in the head it slowed me down a little bit, but at the same time, it makes me enjoy talking, almost like a slight euphoria talking to you savages, which is really nice. I love the effect on this one. It's really reminding me of a nice sativa from Buckeye Relief, like the Sour Blue Diesel, the Grapefruit Sour Dream, things of that nature. Really nice buzz, even though it's testing a little bit higher in total THC than both of those strains. At the end of the day, guys, I believe the Terp's more important than the total THC. As I've said plenty of times in the past, I've had some jars that say 33, 34, 35% total THC, and it doesn't give me any higher than like an 18, 19% from Pure Ohio Wellness or Buckeye Relief. So I'm actually thinking about investing in a THC testing device. Uh, I've seen some videos on YouTube not too long ago, and I didn't even know those things existed, but apparently there's devices that you can literally just like put nuggets in it or scan nuggets almost essentially, guys, like a fucking barcode, and it will tell you the total amount of THC in it. That's cool. I don't even know how much those things are going to run me financially, but it's going to be worth it. That's going to be awesome to be able to test if what they're saying on the drawer is actually accurate, guys. Drop it in the comments if that's something you savages would like to see. This is going to be a little bit shorter video than normal, guys. I'm on a little bit of a limited time frame again today because I'm about to go to work here soon and I want to get this walk out of the way. But this is just a nice sesh video. For you savages waiting on the uh, rest of the reviews this week, I wanted to bust out a review today, but I really don't prefer to do reviews rushing. I really like to feel relaxed, comfortable, calm, not stressed out, not in a hurry so that I can really give you guys my full thoughts on the flower and not be rushing through it. I still think my thoughts on the fruit smacks are pretty much the same today. This stuff is some fucking gas. I believe I gave it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It deserves that. Almost nine ranges. If it was a little bit fucking uh, stronger, guys, on the effect, come on. I'm becoming bad at that, Savages, like relighting the doobie two to three times throughout the video because I go on rambling. We got to stop doing that, man. Ah, the Savages breaking out in pimples, man, probably from all the fucking sweat. It's been pouring off of my skin the last few days, guys. It's been so hot in this warehouse, and I work around these big conventional ovens. Huge fucking ovens, guys. You can't even imagine. It's like 106, 107 degrees in this place sometimes. I walked in the house last night just feeling like I got hit by a bus, guys. Not even joking you, man. But when I come home and I see you guys commenting on the videos, you guys viewing the videos, you guys anticipating the next video, it makes days like that so freaking worth it guys you have no idea man so on the fruit smacks from certified if you guys 
are in the market for a fruity sativa. I know some people really prefer that type of terpene profile on their flower. This one is great, man. It really feels like a hybrid. If you didn't tell me it was a sativa, I might not have guessed it. Yeah, we need a haircut, guys. <laughs> but off the raw black, I do think it tastes a little bit better than it did yesterday. That's just my opinion. I might actually start bringing paper reviews to the channel too, guys. Testing out all kinds of different papers. In this day and age, there's a lot of fucking papers. It'd be really cool if I found anything that can go head-to-head -head with Raw. Because I've just been smoking on their papers for so long. I'm cool with it. I don't even really want to switch. But if there's stuff out there that I don't know about that's even better, perhaps, I'd like to know. I really want to try Elements. Josh Kesselman, I do believe that's the guy's name that is the CEO of Raw Papers, makes elements as well. That Savage has like three or four different off-brand of papers. He's got elements, he's got Juicy J's, and he's got all the Raw line of papers. Absolutely savage, man. Mm-mm-mm. Fruits Max, this is fucking fire, guys. I'm about to dust this one out and go take this walk. Drop it in the comments what you guys puffed on during this video. And if there's anything you guys want to see me review next, as always, stay blessed, guys. I am so grateful for you guys, man. You have really no idea. I was just telling Don at the Citizen a little bit ago, man, like, it's already a dream come true, guys, in my opinion. This has already surpassed what I had hoped for when I first started the channel. And we've got this momentum, guys. We're just going to keep chugging up and it's all thanks to you guys so have an absolutely blessed day and please stay savage and if you guys like this one hit it with a thumbs up if not hit it with a thumbs down and i'll see you guys in the next one man i'll see you guys tomorrow actually you guys can also drop it in the comments what review you want to see next out of all the stuff that i listed off a few minutes ago for the rest of the week until then guys stay savage you absolute savages man